how to prepare a bono soup with okra. Oh, that's my favorite soup, you know. But I'm going to add bitter leaf. You can add ugu if you want. Some people do add ugu. <clears throat> but I'm going to add bitter leaf. So I'm going to show you. Uh, start by boiling my meat. Already I'm boiling my shaki here. Let me show you. It's already boiling. In here, I have my shaki here. I have my cow foot. I have um, abode and stock fish. You know, these things are tough. So you need to boil them first. So, and here I have my beef is here and uh, the abode is there too as well. Those ones are soft. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pour the this one in the pots and start cooking it as well. As you all know, if you have been following my channel, you know that I always season my meat before I start cooking. So this meat is already seasoned. Even this one that is boiling, some people don't season their cow foot and their shaki, but I do with all purpose seasoning so it will be tasty. So now I'm going to add onion in my meat. We'll add the onion. My pepper and crayfish. My people, when you are cooking soup, make sure you add your pepper, your crayfish together with your meat to steam it so that this all these things will penetrate into the uh, meat and you, you feel the taste. You you it will be very tasty. So I'm gonna cook this for now. Then when it's a bit cooked, since this one is already cooking, when this one is halfway cooked. We'll add this one in here. So we'll leave this to cook for now. So in 10 minutes, we are going to pour this in here. I normally soak my fish because it's very hard. So I soak it with hot water to soften it a bit before. Remember, I don't add water to uh, boil my meat. If you remember when I poured the meat, I didn't add any water in it. So, because the meat already has its own water. That is what I keep telling people, emphasizing. When you are boiling your meat, don't add water to it because you just kill the taste. Allow the meat to boil and bring out its water. So, just leave it there. When this one is cooked for another 10 minutes, then we add the already um, boiled shaki. This is the shaki. So, we're going to add the... You can see it's already boiling, it's cooking, oh this is going to be really sumptuous you know. So we're going to add the already boiled shaki, stockfish, um, abode, they are all here, name it, I have it here. So we we'll pour it inside, okay, next there. So I'm going to add um, water. I'm going to add water. So now the soup is about to really start. All the meat has been boiled. So I'll add the palm oil. You know, in uh, European, at times we use palm oil, but by the time you finish cooking the soup, <coughs> my sister, it looks as if you didn't add anything. So, even the bitter leaf I bought, if I tell you that I'm sure it's bitter leaf, look at the bitter leaf here. It's frozen bitter leaf, they said it's bitter leaf, but I'm not too sure. So, in Europe, we don't eat the real thing, we eat what I would call look-alike. They tell you it's bitter leaf, looks like bitter leaf, but it might not be bitter leaf. I'm going to add um, about some to Maggi Cube. Mm. Then I add my all purpose seasoning. So we have to be careful how we add the seasoning. Remember, we already seasoned the meat before. 
so we have to be careful so we don't over season so this should be okay for now and later we can um, correct the seasoning let's do it I think I have to add a little more water because I don't want it to be too thick. Okay, so we'll allow it to cook for another 10 minutes, then we'll add the remaining of the ingredients. So let's see. Wow. So it's boiling. Now we're going to add the ogbono. And there are so many ways of um, preparing this ogbono. You can heat the oil, then fry the ogbono before adding to your already boiling um, water like this. Or you can do the same method that I want to use. So whichever way you prefer, you can do it. And you can cook it without um, adding okra to it. You can cook just the oil, but not without okra. But I prefer adding okra to mine. Add the okra. Add the bitter leaf. As you can see, I couldn't get much to buy. If it was back home in Nigeria, I'll add um, more than this. So, I think because of the festive period, it's difficult to get all these things to buy. So, this was the only quantity I could get, but it's still okay. Bitter leaf. You can add the dry one. This is the frozen one. You can add the fresh one as well. If you can get it, so I'm going to allow it to cook. This is the final cooking. So we're going to now we're going to increase the heat a little bit because we don't want it to start dragging. Before you know, it will you know is um, a bono. It has to be slimy. So if you don't allow the heat to really heat it up, it will be flattened. So we have to increase the heat so that to cook fast and still remain fresh so we'll just cover it for another 10 minutes so the soup is ready now What is remaining is for us to dig into it. Let's cook it as. Wow, this is the cow food. I love cow food, you know. This is the stockfish. Whoa. This is the shaki and the abode. Everything is here. Everything you want. Fish. Everything. Yeah. Mm. So now we are going to prepare the if you want to eat it with the bar, if you want to eat it with pande yam. So I'm going to Oh I'm laughing because this is the bit I like most eating it. Lovely. Mm. Tasty. This way we can sing this song. Which can soup, Mama Kuko? Oh, but no soup. Soup. Oh, but no soup. It's lovely. Guys, 
I wish I can call you to come and join me. Because this thing. Oh. Uh, really tasty. So, if you enjoy my video, please subscribe. Thank you for staying too. Thank you for tuning to my channel and watching me. You can come and join me so we can enjoy this lovely Obono soup. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget the secret of good cooking is in your seasoning your meat. The way you season your meat gives the real taste.